I'm Fritz Nelson here at CES 2012, and I'm here at RIM's booth, and I'm with Anu Dower, who is a senior product manager at RIM, and uh, you guys released 7.1, BlackBerry OS 7.1. What are some of the top features that you've added? We've, uh, we've basically been working on making BlackBerry better, so in this new OS update, we've added uh, more capabilities for NFC, and we've been building out um, uh, the social aspect of the phone. So I can, I can talk about a few of those today. So the first one is uh, BlackBerry Tag. And BlackBerry Tag creates a new way to share digital content with, uh, with, uh, between NFC-enabled Blackberries. So essentially what it allows you to do is share any file on your BlackBerry with another BlackBerry user just by tapping the two phones together. Okay, so what is that using? It's using NFC to, to create this digital handshake and then it essentially transfers the, the, the transfer over to Bluetooth. And so if you have a large file, like you want to share a video file, or it's a, a big picture, or a bunch of pictures, it does that over Bluetooth so you can take the phones apart and, uh, and continue the transfer uh, while you do other things. Okay, why don't you show us uh, how this works. You got two Blackberries here. I do, yes. So I have two Blackberries here. On the left I have a Blackberry Bold 9900, and on the right I have a Blackberry Curve 9360. And what I'm going to do is show you an example of how you would share pictures with somebody using Blackberry Tag. So I go into my pictures application, and you can see here, got a nice picture of a bird. I like to share it with my friend. I would just align the two phones back to back. Very quickly, it creates a Bluetooth connection that's temporary. You can see I can move the phones apart. It transfers over, and when it's finished, it opens the picture uh, on my friend's phone. So it makes sharing content very easy. It's very fast, and it's personal. You have to be right next to the person. And these are things that you, know, you can do today kind of with email. You can send pictures uh, over SMS or by BBM, but with, with uh, BlackBerry Tag, it's, um, it's, it's, it's a new way and, um, and it's a lot faster. So you get to save on wireless charges and it adds a bit of fun, uh, an element of fun to the, to the mix. So I just showed you an example of pictures, but it would be the same thing if you wanted to share contact information or if you wanted to send over uh, really anything. So let me open up. Uh, a contact to show you this. So I've opened up a contact on my on my curve, and I want to share it with the bold. Creates the connection, and it transfers it transfers it over very quickly. And so now it's received uh, on my on my bold. Okay, so that uses the NFC capabilities um, that you've that you've added. What's the future of NFC for? for the RIM BlackBerry platform? Yeah, it's a good question. So today we actually announced that we've passed Visa certification, and so I think where NFC is going to take us is uh, for mobile payments. So around the world we're working with providers to make sure our Blackberries are ready to support mobile wallets and things like that. Uh, we, we are approved by MasterCard and Visa, so we're excited about that. So we'll, you'll be able to see uh, with, with uh, individual carriers around the world, they'll start to launch mobile uh, payment schemes as well. You know, inside the enterprise space, where you use your badge to open a door, uh, you, you can use an NFC-enabled BlackBerry through HID. And so you'll start to see um, NFC become part of our daily lives in terms of things that we do and, and just making things easier. What else is new in 7.1? In 7.1, we add uh, the ability to turn your BlackBerry into a, a Wi-Fi router. So it's called Mobile Hotspot. You can really quickly, with, uh, with one click, share your internet connection with up to five Wi-Fi devices. So really good when you're on the road, you don't have to hunt for that Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, as well, we've integrated into the universal search on the home screen with Microsoft Bing to provide uh, updated... You want to show how that works? Yeah, sure. So essentially, as you type on your home screen, you'll get suggestions back from the internet as you type. So I'm typing here pizza, and you can see that it's added a row here for web suggestions from, from Bing. Unfortunately, we're, we're at CES, it's a lot of people here on the network, it's a little bit slower, but you can see it started to populate it. So I typed P-I-Z, and you can see it's come up with Pizza Hut. As I type, it'll continue to, uh, to tailor the, the search for me. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a bit, bit difficult here just because we're, um, yeah, there we go. But if I click on any of these, it'll spawn the browser with the search results and hopefully make it a lot easier for me to find what I'm looking for while I'm on the road. Okay, and I understand you've also added Wi-Fi calling? Yes. Wi-Fi calling is another feature that comes in OS 7.1, and that essentially allows users to save their talk time minutes and uh, make their phone calls using their Wi-Fi network. So that one's uh, provided by T-Mobile here in the USA and uh, through other carriers around the world, but it's something that uh, we've tradi traditionally provided uh, to our customers, so we're happy to, to bring that. 
in OS 7.1 as well. Great, thank you so much. Great, thank you very much.